think it's the fact that this current flood of lies, misrepresentation, and misinformation in our society is energizing and powered by social media and how easily people believe what is presented on social media platforms. And because Satan is the father of all lies, he and his demonic forces are particularly uh, skilled at deception. He lies about who we are. He lies about who God is. He lies about who he is and what he does. When we accept a lie, no matter how Satan got us to believe it, we transfer our belief from one God, I mean, from one father, God, to believe in another father, the enemy of our souls. And this is how we become adopted as children of Satan. Two things that will hold us in deception are ignorance and pride. First, we must realize that God does not desire that we be ignorant. Our primary source of truth is the word of God. Now, you may be believing something about God, about yourself or others that is contrary to the Bible. That is one reason we as Christians must know the Bible for ourselves. The more we know what it really says, the less uh, uh, of an opening Satan and his agents have to lie to us. This is also why the belt of truth and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, are two essential elements of our spiritual armor as Christians. John uh, 8, 44 tells us, you are of your father, the devil, and it is your will to practice the lust and gratify the desires which are characteristic of your father. He was a murderer from the beginning, and he does not stand in truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks of falsehood, he speaks what is natural to him, for he is a liar himself and the father of lies and all that is false. And that is how to be amplified by.